Hey folks, welcome to Fight Theory Vlog series discussing fight theories, techniques, everything about uh, stuff like that, and with an emphasis or or gearing up towards self defense and and just improving our um, uh, knowledge and abilities in uh, physical activities. Okay, in some degree of self-defense. You can obviously tell that this is not scripted and um, maybe I'll edit that and maybe I won't. Depends on how long the video is. If it's not that long then we can keep it all in and have a great big laugh. Right? So, here's my notes. Welcome to Fight Theory. I'm Crawlface. Um, uh, in this in, in this um, video vlog I want to discuss um, can you can you learn reflexes? Can you learn instincts? Can you um, can you improve or change, okay, or develop and work on the ones that you do have and stuff like that? Are there ones that are hidden or that you just never really use or you don't know? Can you bring them out? Can you, and stuff like that? And because you haven't used them and and, and you maybe you're, not, you're not unaware of them or unfamiliar with them, uh, does that mean that they're more like a, uh, they're, they're more likely or uh, to be modified or changed or stuff. They're not set in stone yet. You haven't, you know what I mean? They're not part of deep scars and things that have happened in traumas and stuff like that. Um, uh, okay, so I'm somebody who's done tremendous amount of training. One thing that I like to do is I like to, uh, I like to. I like to be, I like to do well by just outworking my competition. Step one. All the other things can come in and play too, but that's one thing that you can definitely control, right? So, um, whether somebody is more talented than you than not, and that's definitely not a way to think and not a, uh, you know what I mean? Whatever, and, and if, if somebody else analyzes like that, that's fine, whatever, let them, whatever. But there's one thing you can definitely do, and that's control the amount of work and effort you put into something, the amount of study and the amount of training you can. So, I mean, one sure five, and I've definitely, you know, this is what one of my inspirations in our, in, in our relationship and communication is I try to say, there's two things I do, okay, because I, a lot of the stuff. Uh, I'm remembering it, and, and um, it's not scripted, of course, but a lot of this stuff is what I've said to other people, so I want to say that to you. I don't want to necessarily come up with all new stuff or think that I have to do something different because this audience or in, or in this medium is different. It's not. And two, um, I never, to anyone in history, I never say anything even in advice, or contemplation, or answering a question, okay, when it does relate or whatever, I would never say anything that I wouldn't say as if I was talking to myself, okay. Now I don't mean that like uh, I don't, I, I then miscalculate what's relevant to the person who's asking the question, but in the, but in the sense that, you know, um, do unto others as you would do unto you, have them do unto you type of thing. Okay, I don't say things that I wouldn't be satisfied with myself. I don't say, well, looking at this person, well, yeah, you should probably cut corners and stuff like that. I wouldn't like that. And it, it, in, in eight or nine or ten times out of whatever, okay, it, I wouldn't like that, and, it, and it's not what I would be looking for and stuff like that. So I try to at least by default, or at least start start like that, right? So. Wow, where were we? Right, training, huh? Um, if we are ever going to reprogram, develop, or learn, okay, new reflexes and instincts, and we don't have to be so critical if that really bothers you, and you just want to stick to the biology book, and it's like, no, mate. You can't. You can't learn instincts and stuff like that. You can't learn these reflexes. Fine, okay? Uh, a particular kind of choices, and in a broader sense, okay, choices. We're just trying to improve on our choices that we make. Sometimes they're long thought out choices, 
and sometimes they're split second choices and we want to train both sides because we're well rounded right so we want to train both sides um, uh, if if there's ever going to be a, a, a chance that we can if the if the answer is ever going to be yes then the way that we do it is through okay mental and physical training and this is what training this is one this is one of the key elements this has always been one of uh, the key elements to training okay one is the in, in a broader sense we're dealing with development okay but we're developing a lot of things and and a lot of objectives and goals behind that development whatever you want to get to however we want to get to where we're getting to and spe specify or whatnot okay one of those developments of what we're doing is we're trying to instill learn get comfortable get familiar with and make something second nature to us okay a technique a response a thought process stuff like that training has always been about that it's not only about that like I was just stating before okay but that's a major part of it okay that's the major part if you are ever going to have a, 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 a split-second decision uh, a choice you make if you're ever going to have any kind of action that you want that that you don't already have or that you you specifically want or want to refine what you have to or develop to if you, you see you know what I'm getting at right if you're ever going to have what that which you may want okay you're going to have to train and practice okay if you it doesn't mean that it will guarantee that it's going to work but you will have to train in order if it's ever going to work you will have to train um, and this is a big one not just physically but mentally um, a great example I don't know about exaggeration I don't even know if we should use the word it doesn't matter but um, uh, uh, oh. Hold on. wait a minute wait a minute here Y'all didn't tell me that my collar was all messed up and stuff? Don't you see how I'm trying to look nice and stuff like that? You see I'm busting out this shirt from back in, you know, whatever. Let's not specify the date. What the hell is this? Okay. Um, uh, so, one, one great example of this, and when I talk to people, when we get to when we get in deep with the self-defense part and when it's practical and when there really is like a, a you know what I mean we're not just deciding for fun to talk theory there are cases where we're in danger stuff travel things that I had to do with people things places that we were at situations that de-escalated no situations that that deteriorated and got bad and stuff like that um, so I had to do quick prep. It wasn't time for, for philosophy and stuff like that. It was time to, to take a look around and be realistic about what you have and say, hey man, okay, shit is going to hit the fan. Shit is going to get dangerous right now. And it's one thing to say, well, uh, well, we'll deal with it, we'll deal with it. But it's another, okay, to actually be able to because it's mental. Now, there's a, uh, there's a, there's a, a curve uh, to, to what we're talking about here. Yeah, uh, I, can, I can defend and then run away. People feel comfortable with that and stuff like that. It's conflict is not such a, a very common thing and a natural thing for people. A certain kinds of conflict or whatever. I mean, conflict may be part of our lives and stuff like that. But um, so we talked about that, right? Uh, so running away, a little bit more comfortable to people than to say, well, I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to knock mofos out. Okay? That's different. Okay? And I, and, and I applaud you for, for taking the step in, in, in that direction if, if that's warranted and you feel like, well, I'm not going to get beat. I'm going to do what I have to do. Now, you see the curve that we're working at. Um, oh, uh, these people have knives. All right? They have sharp weapons. They have weapons that can now easily kill us. Okay, uh, where where our response, if we have no other choice, would have to, you know, or it can be, or now it has been is forced into the category of also deadly 
response, deadly defense, and stuff like that, right? So now it's not so easy to, to you have to mentally, and I tell, and I've talked to people about this even in the split second, okay, you need to mentally get prepared. Okay, it's not, it, there's no knock on you, there's no knock on a human person, man. It's not a normal thing to stab somebody. It's not a normal thing to block and get another person's weapon, and even though you're backed up against the corner, okay, you're going to hope that, you know, sometimes people maybe just all in a blind, it just all happened in this whirlwind, okay, whatever. But whirlwinds and things like that, you know, they're only, they're things that happen, they're things that you think about or can describe after the fact. During, you have your world when, I mean, you know, it, it's very tricky. It, it seems like, yeah, everything, it just all happened in the blink of an eye. But at the same time, how many times have you said, have people told you how everything kind of slows down? Slowing down can be a great thing in used, utilized to your benefit, but it can also, you know, not be to your benefit. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, or but it's not to your benefit. Everything kind of slows down. Your, your time goes out the window. And there's just this whole moment. And how many times have you heard in, in a crisis or, or a trauma type of situation, you know, somebody felt like it was just, somebody felt like they were, it's 15, 20 minutes or an hour of this. And you're like, dude, it was only like five minutes. You were struggling for five minutes, man. But you're like, you're like, well, it felt, you know. And then there's the more stuff that we can relate to. And when someone says, well, it felt like a lifetime. <laughs> it can totally relate to you. So yeah, so even, but even realistically or respectfully speaking, you need to prepare yourself to be able to, you know, you know, you, so we all, we all get comfortable with, with some kind of textbook inspiration against the textbook evil and a textbook bad guy. Okay, we have uh, somebody, okay, and, and they're being sexually assaulted by another person and then it's just enough inspiration to say okay yes stop and you see all these people okay and take your palm and just quick strike right there right here right here like that okay but it's it's not uh, the amount of times in statistics uh, that um, and and I'm sure I'm sure okay I'm not gonna say that I'm extremely versed but in conversations, in debates, listening to other people with interest on that, and them giving and their and and them discussing their experience and stuff like that, and statistics and stuff. The amount of times that people freeze, the amount of times that somebody knew what they should have done or what training to do, but didn't do it. Okay, it's you. You think that you're going to take your palm strike and you're going to smash somebody's nose up into their brain and kill them? Even in the case where you say, "Well, your life is on your line," surely, surely that's what I will do. All I'm here to say is if you, uh, if you ever are going to do it or and or if you want to increase the likelihood of being able to do that, not only do you need to train physically for that, which, a lot, which we're, much, we're a lot more comfortable with or more familiar with that process, but you need to also train mentally for these type of things. You need to be able to get it in your mind that, listen, this person it was going to kill you, okay? You need to stop with any roadblocks and inhibitions and stuff that think that you're not in that on that level right now, okay? I know that you're not a person who likes to hurt people. I know that 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 killing somebody, even if they're a bad person, is is would be the most traumatic thing in your life. Would be devastating, and and with all due respect and all due love. That's a beautiful thing, and I don't want that to change in people and stuff like that. But it also doesn't change the fact that this person's on the level and presenting right now a, a serious, okay, reality of, of the presenting a danger or presenting a serious reality of taking your life or the possibility, presenting a serious reality of a possibility of taking your life. Your life is in serious danger right now, okay? Have you mentally prepared to be able to respond uh, accordingly?